right, and welcome back to the Monday Injury Report. I'm your host, Nick Valletta, joined as always by Dr. Mark Casimero. What's up, Mark? Hey, Nick. Happy Monday. What's going on? Happy Monday. Happy March. We got that extra day over the weekend. I hope everybody used it to do something fun. I know the weather was a little cold, but we're supposed to have a nice week. And then next weekend, we're uh, moving those clocks ahead. We're going to get a little more sunlight, a little more daylight, and uh, hopefully we can get out there and start having some fun in the sun outside. All right, I'm going to jump right into it, Mark. We got some injuries. A big one yesterday, opening day for the uh, MLS. Uh, Joseph Martinez, uh, forward for Atlanta, goes down with a torn ACL in the opener. Um, he's their, you know, he's their big time goal scorer. He's, uh, you know, the best player up there. Um, now, I know normally in the U.S. what, uh, you know, a ACL tear recovery looks like. You know, I see it, we see it in the NFL a lot. But overseas in Europe, we've been seeing these players come back same season, five, six, seven, eight, nine months after. Um, talk about talk about this injury, and if you think it's going to be more um, more like we see in the NFL with these players coming back from ACL tears, or if there's a chance this guy, uh, you know, soccer is on the cutting edge, or is it more in Europe where um, they're they're making these strides in uh, these ACL recoveries? Yeah, I think it's a great question. We talked about it, I think, last week or two weeks ago uh, about, you know, that player from Juve, Chiellini, coming back in five months, like you said. So I think all the reports I said yesterday, they're assuming he's going to miss the season, uh, the rest of the season. And they go into September. Uh, they're playing their playoffs are in September, usually the finals in September, I believe. So they go all through the summer. So five months from now would put us in August. So I guess the challenge is on for – you know, obviously, we want to keep all the players safe. We don't want to rush them back too soon. But the challenge is on. Juve got their one of their top players back in five months. Let's see what Atlanta United can do. Um, you know, I, I think he's going to probably be missing for the season. I'm not sure what they're doing in Europe. Again, we've talked about this. They, they're allowed to do certain things that, you know, people and athletes can't do in the United States because of regulations and FDA stuff and all that, that jazz, all that boring stuff we don't want to talk about. So, uh, but it's definitely a big loss for their team. He's their primary goal scorer, and they were obviously going to count on him this year to put in a lot of goals and, and get them back to uh, to having a, a championship uh, on the line. So big loss. We'll have to wait and see and see uh, how fast he comes back from it. Yeah, you know, you hate to see it. You know, they train all off season for for you know the upcoming season, and then opening day go down. I mean, you get two schools of thought. It happened early in the season, so they should be ready for next season. Better than happening the last game of the season, and then you know, they could possibly miss the whole entire next upcoming season. So we'll keep an eye on that, you know, wish him the best and hope that uh, he has a, has a good recovery. Next up, you got Steven uh, Stamkos from the Lightning. Uh, he had a core surgery. So when I hear core surgery, Mark, I don't really know what that means. So what could that, what could that entail? What, what procedure could have he had, could have he had done? And what um, is the timeline you think for, for, for some of these core injuries that, um, you know, how long will he be out and when, when could we expect to see him back? Yeah, the, the two things I think of with a core injury could be like a hernia, uh, could be a sports hernia or an inguinal hernia. There's a couple of different kinds of hernias that you can have. Uh, it could be just, you know, an oblique tear, uh, a tear of some of the abdominal muscle fibers uh, that they need to go in and surgically repair and, and make sure he's ready to go towards the end of the season. Uh, you know, six, six to eight weeks with this type of injury, obviously a core injury, an abdominal injury or a hernia, really tough for a hockey player. Hockey is a rotational sport. Uh, so they rely a lot on their hips. They rely a lot on their, on their trunk, their core to kind of help protect their spine um, and also help kind of generate some force and, and, and be able to skate and do all the things you need to do as a hockey player. So that's a big blow for Tampa Bay. I think it's a big boost for any Bruins fans out there that might be listening. Um, cause 68 weeks is the timetable to start getting back. That doesn't mean, you know, at, at eight weeks, it doesn't mean that he is right back in the starting lineup and performing at a level that, that we know, you know, that, that athlete is capable of performing at. It's going to take some time. He's going to have to, you know, he's not going to be able to do too much. So he's going to have to build up his endurance. He's going to have to build up. He's going to be a little rusty and that's going to put us right, uh, you know, right at the start of playoffs. So that could be really a big thing. He might not be the same player when he gets back on the ice, especially when you up the intensity of the playoffs. That's really hard as an athlete to come back uh, from, you know, jumping in like that after an injury like that. So I think it's it's great news for the Bruins. It's really tough for Tampa Bay. I definitely, you know, keep an eye on this. These things sometimes have a way of, of maybe even lasting a little bit longer. 
uh, than what the initial expectation is, depending on how surgery goes and, and how the progress goes after surgery. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. But I would say, you know, conservatively, six to eight weeks, he's probably going to be missing from their lineup before he can start sniffing, you know, back to the minor leagues or, or you know, back into the, the professional ranks. Yeah, the uh, an NHL regular season ends on April 4th. And then, you know, a few days later, the playoffs start and go into the beginning of June. So, I mean, there is that that window there that maybe if he gets back and he can, uh, you know, get some games and you might see him, you know, maybe not the first round, possibly the second um, if, you know, if they're going to make a push in the playoffs. So keep an eye on that. See if uh, any news comes out about what exactly the procedure was and uh, if there's any news on <clears throat> when he gets a little bit closer to coming back. Um Another one I'll bring up, we don't really have to discuss because it's still a ways away, but Giancarlo Stanton, the uh, however many million, hundreds of millions of dollar man uh, for the Yankees, uh, he's hurt again, calf strain, and now they're saying he's most likely going to miss opening day. When he gets a little closer to open, opening day, um, you know, we'll, we'll see if there's any uh, newer reports on how that's going, but uh, it's just, uh, it's been a tough go for him so far. I feel like he still hasn't even had a chance to try to live up to that contract because he just hasn't been out there. He's been injured a lot. And, uh, you know, the Yankees haven't gotten uh, what they paid for so far, but um, I feel like if he, you know, if he can get healthy and he can get out there, you know, let's start to see some results and they'll finally have, you know, him and judge uh, those two big bats in the middle of the order. And, uh, you know, it could be dangerous, especially now with uh, Garrett Cole and, uh, you know, adding some stuff to the rotation, they could be a force um, out there. Um, <clears throat> so when it gets a little closer to opening day, we'll we'll touch on that. But remember out there, if you have anybody that you uh, want to know about, you want to learn about, you get your fantasy baseball drafts coming up, anything like that. Um, or if maybe you're concerned about Giancarlo Stanton and if you should draft him, because if the, is this going to be something that lingers all year long? Make sure you leave them down in the um, comments below. And Dr. Mark and I will touch on them next week. Mark, thank you for joining us. Awesome, Nick. Thank you very much for having me. I'll see you guys next week. Everybody have a safe, happy week. I think it's going to be some good weather. Uh, I think we're going to be getting the upper 50s, you know, teetering right on that line of 60 degrees. And then after next weekend, we're going to get uh, some more daylight. So we're going to be out there and we're going to be getting active. So I'll see everybody uh, next Monday. Peace.